Hello everyone, my name is Dave Whitehead and I'm one of the teachers here at Graduation Alliance and I am here today to help you with digital literacy. One of the things that I see that we have problems with as students, uh, you guys are not picking up on how to do uh, 6.3.1, which is just the word processing part. So I am going to show you in a bit how to do that assignment, but more importantly, how to pick out which word processor you want to use and how to use that word processor. So let's get started. First off, what is a word processing program? Well, it's simply put, it's just a program that you use to uh, type and then take what you type and, and do so many other things with it. You can take it and you can turn it into tables. You can turn it into documents, but overall, it's just a fancy typewriter. I strongly suggest that you use one of these three programs to do Word, Google Docs, or Libre. One of the biggest problems that I've seen with this assignment is how you turn it in. Right now, I have a lot of people who are turning it in as a JPEG or as a text and it just doesn't work or is just typing in the box that's provided. You need to turn it in as a .doc or a .odt or even through Google Docs. Microsoft Word is the most popular word processing program in the United States. It does cost money, but it's very powerful. So this is the demo of Microsoft Word. Now, it's very easy to get started. The W down below is what I hit, and this pulled up the actual program. Now, what I do here is I go to a new blank document, and this is what comes up. And with this, I am going to go up and I'm going to, first of all, select the font. Remember, it's supposed to be Arial. So I go down to Arial, I select it, and then the next thing I select is the font size, which is supposed to be 11. So both of those are now done, and I can start typing. Now, you'll notice that I didn't highlight my name when I typed it out. I'm going to come back and do that in a few seconds. So I am just typing the experiences that I have. That's your first assignment on 6.3.1. You have to put down three sentences of what you feel you have done and grown with uh, with this. Now one thing you'll notice, and I did uh, one of the few times I did this on purpose, but there's an underline under that one word, and we're going to go back in a second, we're going to click on it, and it's going to give me the proper spelling. And then I go down to the one that I want, I click on it, and it changes it. So if you ever see a red line underneath a word on any word processing program, that's what it's for. I am almost done typing. Good, there we go. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I just went over that and I uh, selected it, and then I'm going to highlight it. So I went up, and you just go over to the, I can fill that out. Now, if you notice, I can go up here, and I can pick another word, and I can bold that. I missed a letter. There we go. I got that. Then I'm going to do another one, and this one I'm going to italicize and the last one I'm going to underline so those are different things you can just select them and then go back over and do whatever you want with them the other thing I can do is I can actually change the color of the font so but what they're asking for is when you highlight in this one is like I did on my name not like what I did on the word so you don't want to change the font color you want to do that all right so lastly how to save Okay, so I'm going to go save as, and I'm changing the name, and there we go, I've got what I want there, and then I have to select where I'm going to save it to. So for me, I'm going to save it to my desktop because I'm going to uh, save it or, or move it over later to the actual assignment. So once you've done that, all you do is go down to the button, click save, presto, we are done. So if that didn't help enough, here's a couple other places you could go and look at what other people do to get Word to work. Google Docs is the next one that I would like to cover. 
it is one that everyone should have because of your graduation alliance or if you have a Google email yourself. It is free with all of your Google emails. And it does almost everything that Word does. Not quite. It's not quite as powerful. And you have to be careful on how you save it. But I will talk to you about that now. Now I'd like you to watch this video on Google Docs. Google Docs. And I really like this one. So this is my graduation email. But if you look over on the side, there's nine little dots. When you click on that, it has different things to do. Well, the one I'm going to select is Docs. So when I open up Docs, there it is. I can select a brand new blank document, but you'll notice it had other templates you could have chosen from too. So first thing I always do on this one is I go up and I make sure and I name it because Untitled Document throws me off. So I just go in there and I am just naming it 6.3.1 Demo. And I'm doing it different this time, uh, just to show you can do it either way, is I went and I selected Highlight. I'm double checking to make sure that I have Arial 11. And then when I start typing, it's already highlighted. I could go back and do it later, but I just did it this time right there. And then I take it off highlight. I go down, and like I said, I love Google Docs. It is the easiest one to do. And the big thing for me is it's free, and it's got so many different things to do. So I'm just typing out my three sentences, and I hope you use... This one, it, it's a piece of cake. It really is. Now, you'll notice, I'm going to go here in a sec. I'm going to underline that, and I just want to make sure that I underline it. And this one, I'm going to go and I'm going to bold it, and then I'm going to italicize this one. So these are different things by just highlighting and do it. Now, again, like the other ones, I can do it whenever I want. All right, now, hard part, saving or what it's called downloading also. So um, I just went up and I selected Word. Well, the second time I'm going to go and I'm going to do ODT, which is another one that you can do. And it will download it too. So whichever one, if I do Microsoft Word or ODT, it puts it in its right form. The other thing I can do is share. So over here, there's the word share. And then I can type in, like I'll type in my address and this document will be shared to me or I could share it with you or whoever. So if you need to send it to another teacher, you can always share it. That is, my, uh, that is Google Docs that we just did. If you have any other questions, you might check out this YouTube site. So the last one we're going to talk about is LibreOffice, and it's one that Graduation Alliance suggests that you might use. It is free, but I have run into some problems with it not working on older computers. It is very powerful and will do a great job. Please take a look at this one if you can. So this example of LibreOffice uh, is a newer program for me. I got it when I started to work for, off or for Graduation Alliance, and it is free, and it's got a lot of things on it. You'll notice right there it says New Document after you open it up. But if you look down below, there's all sorts of presentation, and then there's also a math formula. So let's do a uh, Word document. So I open this up. I'm going to make it full screen so I can follow along. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to type in Arial. It will take me to it if I type it in. But i got to get back here and spell it right. A-R-I. There it is, Arial. Boom. And then I'm going to change the size because we have to have it at 11. There we go. And again, this time I'm going to start it with it highlighting as I type. So I selected the highlighter first, then I typed out my name, and then I took it off that. And let me finish these up real good. Again, this one I really like because it is free. It doesn't cost a thing as long as you have an updated system operating. Okay, so we're done here. I want to show you you can change the font. So I'm going to select this one. I'm changing the font to red. And this one also does underlining and italicizing and everything. So there's an underline. Here is italicize. And here is bold. So there's different things you can do with all these. They all do the same thing. All right. Now to save. You go down here, select save. And if you notice when it comes up, I'm going to press this button. There's so many different options you can save it as. The ODT is fine. I would go down and do doc, though, for most things. Most of them like that, dot, doc. 
All right, so let's put in the name, save it, and there you go. That's how you use LibreOffice. So if you need more help and you do like the British accent, go check out this YouTube. So that should help you get through 6.3.1. But if you have any other questions, contact your teacher and they'll be able to get back to you as soon as they can and help you finish it up. Good luck and I look forward to seeing you again soon.